Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take another look at Microsoft's Power Toys, some of the new features, and some of the things you want to avoid to stop wrecking your system. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so it's the end of October 2019 and we've got an update for Power Toys, which is really good to see, but unfortunately it does bring with it a potential problem. Now there is a new section for Power Renamer, which is actually really good for renaming batches of files, but there's actually a little bit of a snag to it, which I found to my uh, dismay, which I'll go through in a little bit. Uh, also in this update, we've also got new added support for multiple monitors for the fancy snap windows or fancy zones. So if you want to set up your monitor with different windows, the snap tool, that kind of thing, that has been updated. We've also got a new uh, darker theme or black theme or dark mode or whatever you want to call it for the entire operation. So that's been put in as well. And also there's been various other bug fixes. So let's go over to the GitHub site and we'll take a look at it and then I'll go through some of the problems with the new renaming tool. Okay, so if you haven't been here already and you're not sure what Paratoy is, is Paratoy is basically a revamp of the old Windows 95 era project called Paratoys, which gave lots of users flexibility to do things they wouldn't normally be able to do or made things a little bit easier. Uh, if you want to download it for yourself and try it out, you can go to github.com forward slash Microsoft forward slash Paratoys. And if you actually want to download it and you want to get access to the file itself, then you need to go to github.com forward slash Microsoft forward slash Paratoys forward slash releases. And if you go to the release, which is the current version, which is version 0.12.0, and you can scroll down a little bit and here is the Paratoy Setup MSI. So you can download that to your desktop and install it. So that's that bit out of the way. Let's have a look at what is new and improved in this version of Paratoys. So installation is uh, pretty much exactly the same. We've got the utilities are essentially the same. We've got Fancy Zones. So Fancy Zones is the window manager. Uh, I've got the Windows shortcut guide, which actually if I press the Windows key now should pop up. And there we go, that's what you're going to get. So it gives you your window and shows you some of the options you've got with your Windows key, which is all very good. And for some reason, it brings up Game Bar every time I do, try and do it, which is rather frustrating. Hopefully it won't do that in future. That's our Windows shortcut. We've also got Power Rename. Now, our Power Rename is a tool uh, basically for renaming batches of files. Uh, this was added by Chris Davis and is part of his Smart Rename tool. So that's pretty much what's happened. We've got a... Um, whole slew of bug fixes and essentially it's still a beta project so do bear that in mind when you're using it but let's go to what I find to be actually one of the problems with this so say for instance you want to use the power renamer so once it's installed if you go into some photos for instance so if I select all of these I can now right click and in the context menu I've now got power rename so this brings up the power rename app and you can go in uh, you can say for instance like this, if I search for IMG underscore, so it will de then re that's the original names there. That is what it's potentially going to rename to. So say for instance, I could do weather. So then it would just change the IMG to weather. So for making searches easier, all that kind of thing. So in this particular instance, it's absolutely fine. Because as you can see, we've got our .jpg on the end, our .moved on the end the extensions are all there. And you've also got the chop options in here, so item extension only, all those kinds of things. You can exclude files, exclude folders, etc., etc. So let's cancel this and let's go back to how I would imagine a lot of users are gonna have their system set up. So if we open up our Explorer and just go to View. Now I've got an option here for file name extensions to be on. So if I turn that off, now I'll select all these files again. Oh, sorry. I'll select all of these files again and go to power rename. So same instance, I want to rename everything which has got IMG underscore and I want to replace it with weather as, as I wanted to previously. So that's our original file. That's what our rename file is going to be. So we're all good. So we'll click on rename and it's renamed all our files. But because we didn't have the file extension enabled in view, now we've got no file extension. So now all of these files cannot be easily reopened. You can right click and then do open with, and then you could choose obviously whichever program you want to, uh, Windows, Paint, whatever it may be. You could do that if you wanted to. 
but basically you've lost your file extensions. So if you are gonna use this tool, make sure before you use the power renamer that you have got the tick box enabled for show file extensions. Otherwise, you are gonna get into a whole world of trouble and you'll have potentially a lot of files which pretty much you can't use again. And I haven't found a way that power renamer will actually add the file extension to that. So there doesn't seem to be any obvious option. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments if there is an easy way of doing that, but to actually create a file extension, there isn't an option for it here. So this could end up being a whole world of hurt for some people. So there you go, there's a quick update of some of the new features and some of the bug fixes, etc., in the new version of Power Toys, and also some of the downsides of it. So obviously do be careful if you're gonna be using the new Power Renamer tool, make sure you have your file extensions clearly visible before you do anything, otherwise it could cause you a lot of problems. So, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Oh, and the comments section. Thanks for watching.